A history-making Senate impeachment trial of suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton is now a week away. The Texas Tribune's primary political correspondent, Patrick Svitek, tells us what to expect from the proceeding that's sure to cause some more controversy. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So Paxton, Paxton's fate lies in the hands of 30 senators who can vote in this trial that's scheduled to start September 5th. His supporters are still trying to prevent that from happening. So what's your expectation of how all this will play out? Sure. So before an actual full-blown trial can begin, the Senate has to um, vote on a number of pre-trial motions to dismiss that Paxton's lawyers have filed. Um, and of course, for them, uh, the best case scenario is that they can get this, uh, you know, this case uh, dismissed before actually having to proceed to a full trial. And so there's pressure on these senators right now um, to vote Paxton's way on those pre-trial motions to dismiss. And so um, it'll be a really dramatic uh, beginning uh, to that trial because again before you get to all the things you would expect in a typical trial like opening statements there will be these votes on these pretrial motions to dismiss the case altogether so as the presiding member lieutenant governor dan patrick wields a lot of power in this trial and you've confirmed that a, a pro paxton group made a major contribution in june to uh, dan patrick's campaign but do you have any evidence or, or, or proof that this might have been meant uh, to maybe sway him in any way well, what we know is that this uh, group, Defend Texas Liberty PAC, uh, gave $3 million in campaign funding to uh, Patrick at the end of June, um, you know, as the Senate was ramping up its preparations uh, for this trial. And so, uh, you know, donations like that, especially just someone like Patrick, who already, you know, frankly has a lot of money in his campaign account and isn't up for reelection until 2026, donations like that certainly cast, um, you know, doubt on uh, his ability uh, to remain. Uh, impartial in this process. He's nonetheless promised uh, a fair trial. Um, and I do think that he has, uh, you know, beat some people's expectations with how seriously he and the senators are, are taking this process, given that he is more politically aligned with Paxton than, for example, the House Speaker, Dave Phelan. Well, let's talk about who uh, will be called to testify in this trial if it does go forward. Uh, we, and the list includes, I guess, Ken Paxton himself, but not his wife. That's correct. Uh, there was a, uh, a leak to the media of the, the witness list in recent days that revealed some of the names that each side uh, intends to call as witnesses in this case. Um, I don't think it's surprising necessarily that the House plans to call Ken Paxton as a witness. Uh, you know, he previously said earlier this summer that he will not testify. That may not ultimately be his decision. I think that there are avenues through which the House can try to compel him um, to testify. And so that will be a a major fight if we get to it. And finally, we're told the uh, public and press can view the trial from the Senate gallery. Um, so that should be interesting, at least that we'll get to see this. Um, we're going to post this interview and a link to Patrick Svitek's reporting in the Texas Tribune on our website, fox4news.com. Patrick, thanks. Thanks so much.